Also, look at this. Just got this from Thailand, shipped over. Got it tested at the gold shop. 96.5% gold. You know how we talked about it? Heck yeah, solid gold. What is up, everyone? I apologize for looking kind of icky. I just got out of the gym. Um, but I don't have much time because I'm a busy, busy bee, but I got to get back to work and work on some stuff for my master's courses. But I wanted to come on here and kind of show off my new brace that I got. It is 96.5% solid gold it is so above 23 carats. I'm like tempted to say it's 24 carat, but I'm not, and I'm not going to take it off for this video. I'm just like briefly going to show it and talk about it. And that's because I've got a 24 karat ring coming in and also a necklace that's the same karat gold as this, which is 96.5. Um, it's from Thailand. So basically I'm not gonna do like a full in-depth video, but here is the bracelet. It is solid, not hollow. The reason why I don't want to take it off is because I squeeze down these prongs um basically i don't want to bend them out to take it off but i will for the next video whenever i have my ring and necklace in this is 46 grams it's actually like 45 point something something grams but i will um weigh everything in the video and kind of talk about gold and go over over everything and why i just decided to start investing in gold so usually in the united states you're looking at a markup of about 40 to 60 percent on any kind of gold jewelry so it's not really an investment uh in monet there's a 24 karat gold uh solid gold company called monet where they have a 30 percent markup that is the lowest markup i've seen for america in thailand however you're looking about a 10 percent markup sometimes 15 percent um, if you're purchasing overseas like i did definitely 15 percent markup However, you have to get it from a reputable dealer. But at that point, it's investment jewelry because, you know, with our inflation at 8% right now, I mean, you get your money back within a year or two. So um, I just don't really trust our government right now um, with uh, the United States dollar. You know, everybody in Asia buys gold as an investment because they don't trust their government. But in the United States, like, no one really has that issue you know we've always trusted our system and government so this right here is a solid 10 karat uh gold chain i love it i've worn it for three and a half maybe four years now i think we were on like four years and it's by daniel jury inc i have a couple videos on my channel about it i think i have like a three day uh a three year update too so in this particular video i don't think you're gonna be able to see really the color difference um, I'll put up a picture for y'all to see. There is an astoundingly big difference in the color. And this bracelet actually weighs half of the weight of this necklace, which is insane. This is a 90 gram necklace and this is a 45 gram bracelet. And the bracelet is so much smaller. And it just shows how basically um, gold is just so dense, you know. I've worn this every day and night for about shoot probably four days now no issues no scratches or anything like that um, I was surprised how hard of a metal gold really is I always was told it was like soft and like this and that and I know it would scratch up really badly and I kind of like that character you know aspect of gold I like it scratched bent dented as long as I'm not losing the gram weight of the gold I'm not too concerned but uh yeah it's it's beautiful way harder than I expected doesn't sc scratch easily even when I closed the uh, clasp you probably can't see it very well close the clasp I had to like squeeze extremely hard the first few times I couldn't do it I thought it was gonna break the piece or something and then eventually I squeezed hard enough I started getting like these um, perforations in my fingers I mean it was difficult so I don't have really any concerns there but I'm going to be back on my channel when I have my necklace and my ring. Do I think there's a problem with like silver gold plated jewelry? Absolutely not. Do I think there's a problem with hollow gold jewelry? I don't recommend it. I think it will 
break <laughs> and then you can't wear it and then it's like not worth anything but the melted value so you paid for all that labor that you know it's broken so I don't know about hollow chains but I do know that anything with like plated jewelry and whatnot I think there's nothing wrong with it um, I definitely think that you should just wear what you love and a lot of people just don't have the price tag um, this was about two thousand seven hundred dollars that being said never buy anything that you don't have plenty of savings for if you go in debt for jewelry or if you buy jewelry and then have nothing in your savings that's not a wise decision I have this is like my first piece of jewelry that I've bought in, in four years I've bought in four years and I've worked tremendously hard for my savings and I'm excited and that being said I still love my 10 karat chain chain nothing can beat the color of near 24 karat gold hands down but then again I think that you know all jewelry is beautiful I'm just a metal enthusiast I love nickel I love copper bronze <laughs> I like everything like steels I'm just a big metal enthusiast and I think it's just all preference so but yeah I want to do this really quick video I could talk about this for hours and I've done tons of research but I'm hoping to see y'all again in a later video and I'll get to sh uh, take this off and show it up close and you can see all the imperfections and details and uh, same with the chain that I'm getting and the ring that I'm getting so I'm really excited and I'll see y'all later cheers thanks for watching